a news reporter asked me that was I shocked at reading the news that came in headlines in most of the Indian newspaper that one of the terrorists who did the attack in Dhaka in Bangladesh was inspired by me. And I replied that there are two angles to it. Regarding me being shocked that a Bangladeshi was inspired by me, I would say no, I wasn't shocked. Because I appear on various different satellite channels and in Peace TV network alone, there is a viewership of more than 100 million. And Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I inspire millions of people throughout the world. And the point to be noted is that on my personal Facebook alone, there are more than 14 million likes, out of which even I was shocked when I learned that 4 million, more than 27% of the likes are from Bangladesh. The maximum in any country in the world is from Bangladesh. And 4 million from Bangladesh, a country where majority don't speak English and giving likes on my Facebook is astonishing. I was shocked. And the report says that more than 90% of the people in Bangladesh, they know me and more than 50% of them are my fans. So if a person is inspired by my videos, it's not shocking. And we see that there are millions of people, Muslims and non-Muslims alike, that are inspired by my video and they come closer to Islam. And just because a person knows a personality who's famous and a celebrity, you cannot attribute every act of that person to the personality he is a follower of. Yes, I do agree that I inspire hundreds of thousands and millions of people close to Islam. But every fan of mine may not follow everything what I say. Once a person comes closer to Islam, there are possibilities that he starts hearing other speakers. And today, as we are aware of, there are some people who misguide the Muslims and in the name of Islam, they encourage them to kill innocent people, innocent human being, which is totally against the Quran. If you hear my talk, you will never ever find in any of my talks where I have condoned terrorism or killing an innocent human being. So the second part of the information that was given in the Indian newspapers was giving an indication that I inspired this act of killing innocent people, which I totally disagree. I've been giving lectures for more than 25 years. There is not a single talk of mine where I've ever encouraged any human being to kill any other innocent human being, whether Muslim or non-Muslim. And I say this in my talk, it's against the Quran in Surah Maidah chapter 5 verse number 32. So this evil act of the Indian media trying to prove to the people or trying to give an indication that Dr. Zakir Naik is encouraging terrorism is devilish. I totally disagree with it and I condemn these media which are trying to prove that I am encouraging acts of terrorism. Yes, I have heard in the news media as well as in several news channels that they are misquoting. They are quoting sentences from my speech which are half which are midway, without context, and trying to give a view to the Indians that I am a person who promotes terrorism. I am totally against terrorism. I condemn all acts of terrorism, including killing innocent human beings. Killing innocent human beings is the second major sin in Islam. And Islam and Quran, as well as myself, is totally against all acts of terrorism, including killing innocent human beings. This is Dr. Zakir Naik from the holy city of Makkah on the first of Shawwal, wishing all the people a happy and prosperous Eid. Taqabbal Allah minna minkum. May Allah accept the good deeds, prayers, sacrifice and duas from us and from you.